This is the last point we can reach here in a Sabri district in Benghazi. These buildings in front of us secured by the Libyan army. But by on this line, uh, ISIS is, is still in charge of all of the area. Firas is with a powerful militia which calls itself the Benghazi Anti-Terrorism Unit. It's led by 38-year-old Faraj Gaim. His militia is one of many battling ISIS in the city. We use this building to observe the enemy. It's full of our fighters. We've lost more than five men here. This is the front line. If you look over there, the enemy is less than 400 yards away. These are the brave men on the front lines. The militia is fighting a key battle for Sabri district, a central part of the city near Benghazi's port. ISIS's dominance in this area gives it access to a supply route by sea to the other parts of coastal Libya, which it controls. If you look at the Libyan coast, now we are talking about 2,000 kilometers, the Libyan coast and the Mediterranean. At least 200 kilometers of it is under ISIS control. ISIS and other Islamist militants deploy snipers near Benghazi's port and have deeply entrenched positions. The fighters say they are poorly equipped. There is currently a UN ban on arms sales to Libya. Egypt gave us a small quantity of weapons, but it's nothing compared to what ISIS has. Is it because they don't believe ISIS exists in Libya? I swear to God, look at them. They're right in front of you. On your way here, someone shot at you. A sniper on the lookout? He doesn't care. All that matters to him is to shoot and kill. Commander Faraj says the lack of weapons makes defeating ISIS much harder. My soldiers are sacrificing themselves. Look at their weapons. They don't have enough ammunition. The main reason is the lack of resources in the hands of the Libyan army, the ministries, and the units manning the front lines. <laughs> 